What's going on, everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Merry Christmas. Let me start this video off by saying Merry Christmas to all. Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you're celebrating. If you're out there with your family, enjoying yourselves and spending time, uh, I'm happy for you. And uh, I wish the best for everybody out there today. Did you guys get what you wanted this year? Did you get the game systems you wanted this year? Did you get the games you wanted this year? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you got. What was the best Christmas gift you got this year? And, uh, We'll, we'll chit chat down there. But this video is a little bit different. I was, I've been trying to play Destiny today, uh, online. And, uh, the, the footage you guys see right now is actually what I played last night, but I can't get online. PSN is down. And, uh, apparently it's not a nationwide outage, which is really weird, but PSN was down yesterday, uh, right after Xbox Live went down. Xbox Live went down yesterday, and then PSN went down. And right now PSN is still down. I'm not sure if Xbox Live is still down, but I know that PSN is. And I want to tell you guys what's going on. Hackers don't take a holiday, it seems. Hours after Microsoft's Xbox Live went down Wednesday, Sony's PlayStation Network went down too. These are the two networks that users of consoles access to play games online. It's especially bad timing since a lot of people are probably getting new PlayStations and Xboxes for Christmas. Those are called Christmas noobs. Like the earlier incident, the notorious hacker group Lizard Squad is claiming responsibility for taking down PlayStation Network on Twitter, saying it has downed both networks with denial of service attacks. That's DDoS. That means the hacker group is flooding Sony and Microsoft servers with bogus traffic. It's unclear whether or not this has anything to do with Sony's decision to release the interview online through its own site and Microsoft's video service Xbox Video. Sony's Ask PlayStation Twitter account has acknowledged the service issue, but has not stated whether or not it's the result of the DDoS attack. Sony later tweeted that, that service was returning to normal, but we're still seeing a lot of complaints on Twitter and Xbox Live is still down. So everything is still down. And it might have a lot to do with that, that movie. Lizard Squad issued a threat last week that it would take down PlayStation and Xbox Live networks over Christmas. Another hacker game called The Finest Squad, who I made a video about earlier, had apparently exposed several Lizard, Lizard Squad identities online. And it also learned that Lizard was taking the big game networks using DDoS attacks. So, um... The Fire Squad obviously isn't that fine. They were unable to stop these guys from doing this again. Lizard Squad has been tweeting about these outages all day, increasing its number of Twitter followers by giving false hope to Twitter users about possibly restoring service to the downed game networks. Everything's down. Uh, Sony's network is down. Xbox network is down. And these people should be arrested. That's just really the way I feel about it. Um, I, I'm a father. I'm a gamer. But this affects everybody, and it affects people that have nothing to do with what Sony's doing or what Microsoft's doing. It affects kids opening up their game consoles on Christmas. It affects kids who get Destiny bundles on Christmas or Halo Master Chief uh, on Christmas. Games that you have to play online, that you want to play online, and these people are having their Christmas ruined. You only get one Christmas per year. And so for these kids who open up their... There's some kids who only get one thing a year. Imagine that child who only gets Destiny this year. Imagine that child that only gets a game that you play online this year and they're unable to play it because there's a handful of dickheads out there who want to uh, leave a mark or let it be known that they've been there. And it's just an unsavory group of people. I really do hope that, that the powers that be are hard on the case to figure out who these people are and lock them up. Because, you know, to get away with something on this magnitude more than once it's just ridiculous. Sony and Microsoft by now should have really amped up their uh, servers. I don't know if the DDoS attack is totally, you know, if it's something that you cannot uh, get out of the way of, you know, if it's something they can't avoid, but it just seems really insane that this would happen. And they talked about this two weeks ago, they were going to take Xbox Live down on Christmas Day. So I just think it's really unfortunate. And if, if you're one of the people out there who's really negatively affected by this and you got a Christmas gift that only works online, I really feel sorry for you. Uh, it's a terrible thing that these people have done. You know, there's lots of little boys and girls whose parents can't afford a lot. And they only get one game. And that game might be a game like Destiny that you can only play online. And so these idiots have found a way to really screw up a lot of people's Christmas. You guys let me know what you think about this. In the comment section below, uh, has this affected you? Are you trying to play games online? What did you get for Christmas? And of course, Merry Christmas from the Beastly Gamer and from the Beastly Gamer family. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.